EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The ball carrier. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Off play action. Brennan. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. The 20. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And oh, he coughed it up, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 11 yards in the Panther first down. At the 27-yard line. First, it's McCaffrey. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. 
And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was. And when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20 yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Looking long for Thomas. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make him really earn it. Pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Looking to throw. Brennan. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Off the play fake. Brennan. He's going to look deep for more. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Brennan. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. 
And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Let's take it inside his own 40. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. At their own 49-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. This is their third drive right now, maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Sticks here with a second and 15. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Christian McCaffrey. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Sideline throw, that's caught by Moore. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. On second down, McCaffrey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 16 yards, a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, You've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackle. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. At the same seven-yard line. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. They'll run the option on third and short yardage. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. First and goal. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. 
And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? McCaffrey. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. That was the kind of play that this defense needed because it has not been a good half for them on that side of the football. Maybe they can use that one to regroup a little bit and start to play a little bit better. Joey Sly on now for the Panthers. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good, and the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Adam Troutman, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. First down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. He's tackled at the three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven. side a completion to his tight end the only three yards on the catch it's third down Brandon perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off okay so they gave up the completion but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete and that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. First and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Let's go. 
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Looking to throw on second down. Brennan. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. First down, Brennan. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. They ran that one well. And not only did it pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Off play action, Brennan going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll get up near the 45, they'll spot it at the 44. It's another 10 yards on that one, and another first down. At the 44-yard line. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards to pick up, first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find the hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. That's caught by Hollister. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Operating from the gun. Brennan got his target, Samuel. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 37. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll and this drive continues to plunge forward. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And they run the option here on first and ten. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Brennan. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. Here's McCaffrey. 
And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. It's second and eight at the 10-yard line. Focusing on me with some Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle, pockets and ladies. This ain't the best in nations, all I want to see. Most of our residents, there's three different ones. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. And his kick here is good. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. He was looking that time for Dante Pettis. And now it's second down. At the 25-yard line. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll throw now on the final play. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it up, and he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. Now this will make it into the end zone, and no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. He'll look to throw. Finding Harris over the middle. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Saints, first down. the play fake he'll look to throw and that'll be knocked away it's incomplete another attempt another incompletion and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield they've got to have points and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone they're the ones that need to touch the ball An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And now 
the third down throw incomplete as well. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look ahead to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 15 yards on the play. First down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. This is McCaffrey. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. They had no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. third down Brennan that's going to be caught by Samuel and he is out of bounds but not before he's inside the 30 excellent play there on third down give him 25 yards this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath route just trying to free up some space and it worked awfully well Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a handoff here to his running back. It was Jaron Reed who got him down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second down. It's Craig. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 yards there. First down. A lot of praise on this drive, obviously. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. It doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Now a run with McCaffrey. 
And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second and 10 now. Third quarter from Charlotte. At the 12-yard line. McCaffrey. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. At the six-yard line. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. So they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And that stretches the lead to 27. Makes the score Panthers 27, Saints nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. They have the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And it's third down. The Saints on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Able to find Harris complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Saints. throw now on first down they'll set up the screen now to Camara. a nice little screen they get six on first down you got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling tackle them after the catch inbounds keep the clock running just go ahead and bleed the game out that way Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. The call it a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Three down, three down. 
And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 20. And he's into the clear. He's at the 30. 10. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On the carry for that call one. makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On play action, they'll throw. Looking long for Thomas. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Saints on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. They'll set up a throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And that'll make it third down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Saints on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that is incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. 
Lutz's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out, so it's hard to blame them for taking the three there. You can't blame them one bit. It hasn't been the best performance, that's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting to avoid the goose egg. And they're at least trying to finish out strong. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And this crowd has certainly liked what they've seen. Their guys fully expected to win this one coming in, and they have not disappointed as they've got the big lead here in the fourth. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Down at the 33-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he powers through the first wave, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and twelve. Brings up second and twelve at the 34-yard line. Okay, ready? 47 is the mark. Mark! Let's go, D. Switch! Switch! Sponge! 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 No, no, no! 49! Check 49! Check Check Bobcat! Check Bobcat! They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Deontay Harris on the return. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game is played. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 37. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. CD, this defense, man. <laughs> At this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Today's final score. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them with just a field goal. That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan. Pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish. Just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for the Panthers, the win here means it'll be a 7-1 first half of the season. And they will hit the road next week for a date with a Philadelphia Eagles.